Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Monday morning. Yes, I was off yesterday. I rest. I ate well. Uh, I got my read on and I just relaxed all day yesterday. Went to the store a couple times. Then I came back in. Got dinner going. Ate and boom, there it was. Now this is a new week. Uh, I prayed for this week to be marvelous. I prayed for this week to be good for others. Everybody enjoy Christmas, Christ's birthday. And we just love one another, give to one another, help one another, and just do right. All right. So today is December the 18th. And here's our daily bread. When you are plagued by a persistent problem, one that goes on and on, view it as if, as if it's a rich opportunity. An ongoing problem is like a tutor who is always by your side. The learning possibilities are limited by only your willingness to be teachable. In faith, thank me for your problem. Ask me to open your eyes and your heart to all that I am accomplishing through this difficulty. Once you have become grateful for a problem, it loses its power to drag you down. On the, con the contrary, your thankful attitude will lift you up into heavenly places with me. From this perspective, your difficulty can seem as a slight temporary distress that is producing for you a transcendent glory never to cease. Amazing. Okay, you can uh, confirm this from Isaiah 30. 20 and 21, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. Okay, y'all, this is a new year coming, okay? You got income taxes coming, which we don't know how that's going to turn out, if you're even going to get them. And then, you know, it's just a new year. It's time to let go of the old, out with the old and in with the new. Meaning sin, people that drag you down, people don't mean you no good. Don't show you no respect. You want to be celebrated, not tolerated. You know, you know, you just sometimes people say, well, I get tired of being by myself. So, you know, I want to have some friends. Honey, with some of the friends we have, we don't need no enemies. I have this year been really disrespected trying to be places where I did not need to be. You know, I just did an inventory over my own life and I'm sharing this with you. This year coming ain't going to be nothing like this year just, just passed. It wasn't that bad. There was some good in it. But people, y'all, places and things, I don't care how long they've been in your life, sometimes you just have to let them go. I don't, you don't wish them no harm. You pray for them. But it's just some people don't care nothing about you, don't, don't respect you. Like I said, they don't only tolerate you. They don't celebrate you. And I mean, it's a sad feeling because I'm waking up to some things in my life, the way people talk to me and treat me and the way they do me. You know, I'm, I'm fed up and I'm not unhappy about it. This morning when I woke up, I felt a little relief, you know, because I'm getting ready to cut some people off. I was telling uh, two, le two uh, associates of mine that, honey, I went through my phone contacts and deleted people. You know, if you can look at that person and say, this person wears you down with your with their worries all the time. You know, you can lay on your shoulder sometime, but every time somebody comes to you, they got a problem. Cut them people out your life this year, okay? And watch how much better you will be. Pray for them now. Don't kick them all the way to the curb. Always pray for others, okay? Now, I got to get out of here and get ready for work. So, you know, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And I hope this week be the best week ever. Don't forget, Jesus' birthday is coming. So, let's get it together, people. Love you. Bye now.